Hey friends, welcome back to John Dot Drinks. I just came back from vacation on Germany and I brought back a little souvenir that I wanted to share with you all. Now, when you think of Germany and alcohol, you probably think of beer. They do have tons of beer. Uh, you might think of glue wine or maybe even Kirsch, which is like a specialty cherry wine from Germany. I brought bitters, Underberg bitters. On the tin, it says probably the most famous bitter in the world from Rheinberg in Germany. Um, a quick Google search told me that they're the only bitters from there, so that's a little fun fact there. Underberg bitters were invented in 1846 by Hubert Underberg. And a little fun fact, the day he founded the company is the exact same day that he got married. Um, the recipe for these bitters are heavily, heavily guarded. Uh, so much so that the company to this date is owned by the fifth generation of his family. So a closely guarded family recipe. The things that we do know about this is that it is made with herbs and botanicals from 43 different countries. So safe to assume that there's at least 43 different ingredients in this. It is bottled at 44% ABV and aged in Slovenian oak. And that is all we know about it. So this is the package of Underberg bitters right here. Uh, they come in tins, you can get them of uh, 16, 24, 48. Uh, they come in any size, but the thing that never changes is they always get packaged in these 20 milliliter bottles with paper wrapped around them. Uh, we're gonna go give this a taste and talk about it a little bit right now. So let's give this a taste. Um, they also famously get wrapped in this paper. So let's rip off the paper and give ourselves a pour. Now, um, they do recommend you drink it out of a very specific glass. Uh, picture will be above of what the glass looks like. I got a Glen Carey glass and I think that will do just fine for today. Pour's a little slow, it needs the bigger spout, but that's okay. Right on the nose, I'm getting heavy black licorice smell. Whew. It really is strong. The zero added sweetness keeps that ABV up really high. Similar to like a Frenet Bronk or maybe even like a Jägermeister with no sugar. That's what I sort of get out of it. Yeah, heavy black licorice, maybe like a eucalyptus. And there's a little bit of spiciness to it too. Definitely really strong, like you can feel it warming you up. It's not for the faint of heart. If you ever do come across this, um, either in an airport or, you know, if you're visiting Germany, um, I definitely think it's worth the purchase if you have a strong palate and you enjoy taste. Um, actually, there's something else in our box here. The loyalty rewards program for like, collecting the bottle caps. Oh minute, I'll, I'm gonna show you this up closer. So that is uh, very, very neat. Um, they have all sorts of rewards. Look, you can see uh, there's the glass that I was saying that you're supposed to drink these bitters out of, but you can get an umbrella, a pocket watch, um, really funny looking thermometer, a travel bag, a pin board. Looks like you can also trade it in for herb plants. There's sage, fennel, rosehip, chamomile. Super, super neat. I don't think I'm gonna ever get close to enough bottle caps. I think it looks like the cheapest one here is 96 caps. I don't think I'm gonna get that, but it's it's a super neat thing that the company uh, does. Anyways, that is Underberg Bitters. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment below if there's a cocktail idea that you have with these, and I'll, I'll do it on the channel just to see how it tastes. Until next time, cheers.